Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, we'll be kind of creating this. So we can consider this a 2D jump cut or bounce logo. And it's fairly simple, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna create a new composition. Call this one main tut. And the settings are good, click OK. The first thing I want to do is create a background. So I'm going to go up to layer, new, solid. And I'm going to make it like a blue. That's my first day. Okay, and call this one background. Okay, and the first thing we want to do here is create another new solid. And we want to make the width and height the same exact size. So 1080 by 1080 is good. And we'll call this one square. And then all we'll do, actually we'll need to change the color. So make sure the square is like white. And then we'll hit S on our keyboard, bring up scale, scale it down a bit. Okay, and then I'll go up to the rectangle tool and double click it and I'll create a mask. So I'm gonna duplicate this mask by hitting Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC. And then for mask two, I'm gonna click subtract. Then I'm gonna hit MM on my keyboard. Then I'm gonna change the expansion to kind of create this hollow square. I'm gonna add some animation to the square, so we'll go up to Edit, Split Layer. And then for our first layer here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this over. And you know what, I'm gonna select both these layers and I'm gonna scale them down a, a little bit because it's too big. So it'll kind of jump. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these two, both square layers and offset them in time. So we okay, start off a blank screen, square pops in, jumps over, and I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. Then I'm gonna to wanna to create a new circle, so I'll go up to layer, new, solid. 1080 by 1080 is great. Go to the ellipse tool, double click it. I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down to our right in there, and that's great. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut off, or trim in the uh, end point of this layer, and rename it to circle. Make things easy, okay. So it comes in, circle comes in, perfect. Then I'm gonna split this layer by going up to edit, split layer. And then I hit MM on my keyboard and I'm gonna duplicate the mask and open it up and click, so click subtract. And then put the mask expansion to like negative like 130-ish. So what we'll do is we'll take the square layer here and, and we'll start right here. We'll hit S on our keyboard, bring up scale hit the stopwatch to add a keyframe, then move forward in time just by a few frames and scale it up. So now we have a very simple animation. Then I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard for the circle two layer. And then the same exact thing, scale it up. I'm gonna go ahead and scale this up past the square here. So it goes straight up. Then I'm going to add a keyframe so we have no motion and move forward still and then quickly bring it back into the box. So it's going to pause and then goes right in. And then add a keyframe to stop the motion. Then move forward in time. Scale it down by a touch. Add a keyframe. And we just keep making the you know jump, you know, have that small animation and then stop. And we just want to keep doing that until probably right here. So now we look at this. Let's go ahead and start animating our square layer. And this is where I want to start animating it. So I'll hit S on my keyboard with the square layer selected, add a keyframe, and then move forward in time, and then just have it scale down. You know, move forward in time, add a keyframe to you know keep to pause the animation, move forward in time. Bring the square down, and we're just gonna go ahead and repeat this process until we get like right here. So we're about ready to reveal our logo. So just get this ready. I'm just gonna add a keyframe, un break the link for the scale, and take the second property scale here and just kind of squish, squish that down and I'll probably expand this keyframe out a little bit, or no, I'll move this in. Okay, kind of squishes in, and then 
I'll add a keyframe here, put it back to 11, relink it. And then we will go ahead and scale this out all the way past our screen here. And we'll do the same thing with the square. We'll break the link, squish, squish it down a touch, and then move forward in time, we can, uh, put it back to normal, so 13, comma 13 percent put the link back on and we'll probably go ahead and scale it up a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and bring up the mask properties then we'll click the stopwatch on mask expansion and move forward in time to where the square stops and put the mask expansion back on all the keyframing is basically done so let's go ahead and drop our logo in here Put it on top of the square layer. Then for the track mat, for the square layer, I want to hit alpha inverted. And I need to make sure that I trim my sunduck layer. So I'll trim it right there. So at this point right here, I want to change the background. So I want to go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm going to change this one to black and call this background two, background two and make comp size. And we'll bring this layer down. We'll trim the layer to start right here. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a mask to make this reveal. So we're going to have to do a little bit more keyframing here. So what I'll do is I'll take the pen tool, this background layer selected, you know, kind of create a circle mask best as I can. And then I'll hit M on my keyboard, bring up mask path. And we will go up in time here. And we will just move the mask around. Let me change the color of this. And all we have to do is drag out the points and you know drag out the vertices to kind of make a perfect circle here. So as we, go, as we go through this, it won't be perfect, but that's why we'll just go ahead and tweak this, you know, through every frame that we need to create here. Then we need to go ahead and just put the mask to fit the uh, squish circle here. And then just to fix this part right here, we'll go to the last keyframe for our mask path. We will split this layer and we'll hit M on our keyboard, delete the mask. And that will just save us a lot of time. So let's go ahead and run this through. All right, looks pretty good. And then we can go to our type tool, type in our text. We can just center that. To make our text reveal properly, I'll duplicate background two layer for the uh, animating circle here. Duplicate it, put it on top of our sunduck layer, and go to track map for the sunduck text layer, and use alpha mat, and it will reveal properly. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys learned something, please drop down a like. That'd be really awesome. I post multiple times a week with tutorials on graphic design, motion graphics, filmmaking, and I do weekly free giveaways. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. That would make my day amazing. And guys, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.